this is the iPhone 10. Now you would have seen a lot of reviews already going around YouTube and around the web about the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10. The new iPhone 10 and I'm shaking. So the iPhone 10. And every single one of them relates to an unboxing or relates to the specs. And that's not what we're here to do. Today, we're here to test its ability for a complete amateur like me to take some amazing sneaker photography. So let's see how good this iPhone 10's camera really is. Camera module on the back. When you are not a competent photographer. The iPhone 10 has the best camera of any iPhone that has ever been released. And the camera itself is very similar to the previous plus model iPhones, but it has got some improvements with its extra optical stabilization on both those lenses. Anyway, let's get back into the review. I am not being paid for this video by any parties whatsoever, including Adidas or Apple. And I just wanted to say, if you really enjoy the content, please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you wanna know when new content drops, hit the bell next to the subscribe button. This Friday, I picked up this. I feel like I finally got an upgrade of my upgrade. And um, one of the really key features about this phone is supposed to be its amazing camera. It's got a better camera than the iPhone 8 Plus, and it is one of the best camera phones on the market. It comes very, very close together with the new Google Pixel 2, but what's really important for us sneakerheads is some good quality sneaker shots. We're gonna have a look at its ability to capture detail, its ability to create a blur effect in portrait mode and sort of create that depth, that shallow depth of field and a low light test. I don't own a DSLR camera. I have no intention of purchasing one anytime soon and I really use my phone to its limits. And the last phone I had was the iPhone 7, and I had to do so many tweaks to make the images look good. So we're going for the Kiss Mid Ultra Boost. As you can see, it's got a lot of different tones and colors woven all the way through it, being that it's a prime knit shoe. And we're also gonna be going for the My Adidas version of the Ultra Boost 2.0 with lots of multicolor detail in the back of the heel. Let's see how well the photos come out with those two shoes. And a little joker in the pack, we are gonna see how well it can pick up the detail in a boost ball. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is taking a picture of the Kith Mids, and I've sort of set it up. We've got a little bit of sunlight, and hopefully that's gonna give us enough to get a really, really good shot. And obviously with the camera as well, hopefully it's gonna be pretty epic. So let's go and see how it works out. So we're gonna go into the camera, open that up and we are on the stock photo setting and we're gonna go two times magnification, see what that's like. Take a couple of shots with the two times magnification. And then We'll come back out, we'll do a one times magnification. Obviously that's quite a long way away from where I'm stood. Um, and now we're gonna go and try portrait mode. So we'll start with like the natural light in portrait mode. and we'll try studio lighting. Let's try and get a little bit closer. Try and get a bit more of that detail. See if we can kind of get that shallow depth of field effect. Try studio lighting again on that one. And sort of go from a little bit underneath. See if we can get more focus on the shoes. 
excellent. I think I'm quite happy with those shots. So we'll try my Adidas Ultra Boost now. So let's give them a try. We'll go one time zoom. And we'll go two times zoom on the telephoto lens. Now we're going to portrait mode. We'll go a little bit closer. We'll do natural lighting. Do a little bit lower. Try studio lighting. Let's get the boost ball in the mix. <laughs> and that's it. You know, I think that overall, it's a hundred times better, in my opinion, than the iPhone 7. Um, I've not had the iPhone 7 Plus or the 8 Plus to know whether the camera is a lot better but obviously we just want to know you can actually take really good quality, good detail images on the fly with the iPhone 10. and the last test I'm going to do is a low lighting and then we'll review the shots at the end of this review. We are gonna go and do the low light test. Now we are outside of my street actually, and there's quite a lot of street lighting. So these usually are the types of things that will help you to get a better night shot. You know for a fact, unfortunately, smartphones are not gonna get a lot of light in their camera, areas that have not got a lot of light in. So you've just gotta try and play with what's available to you to get a really good shot. Now, this camera recording isn't really gonna record in the best of light either. So I'm gonna just go through on the screen record these two pairs of shoes so we've got the og yeezy v2s and we've got the multicolors back out again and i'm going to do a brief overview of these shoes shot back in the shoe room as we know trying to take any kind of low light imagery is difficult especially when phone cameras are so small so we're just going to take literally a couple of shots of both the beluga and of the multicolor and then we'll have a quick look over them. Maybe we'll do a very, very slight exposure and color correction, maybe a tiny little bit of contrast just to bring some light back into the shot. But I will show you back in the sneaker room what effect that has. So let's get back indoors, it's bloody freezing. So we are back in the sneaker room to discuss this and its ability to take seriously cool sneaker shots. So let's get into the results of the shots that we took outdoors. Basically consisted of clarity, uh, detail, obviously the ability to kind of create depth of field, uh, even if it's shallow, and also a low light test. And we're gonna go through every single picture really quickly to just show you how good or bad, you know, we need to have a look at close and personal, this phone's camera really is. So from the phone itself, this is the actual overall shot. So let's go into that image and we're gonna rotate. We're gonna have a really, really good look at the shot. So let's zoom right in, let's have a little look. So you can see huge amounts of detail in the shoe. You can see huge amounts of difference in the overall prime knit colors and everything that's sort of woven through, even down to the lacing. And the one thing that I'm gonna really be picky on, and this is one of the things that is a difference usually between a DSLR and a smartphone, is its ability to really, really pick up that crisp edge around the back side where it's creating that depth of field. And all in all, I'm really impressed with the actual ability to sort of 
bring forward the image of the shoes and really make it feel like there's some depth to it. And that was done with natural lighting on the actual iPhone itself. We're gonna have a look at the Ultra Boost. This is incredible. This shot overall, this one here, is probably one of my favorite photos I think I've ever taken. When you really zoom in close, you can see all the color of the multi-color pattern at the back of that 2.0 ultra boost even down to the fine detail of the boost you can really see that in the shot and it's just such a crisp image everything about this shoe image itself is absolutely phenomenal and the, the ability in portrait mode to really crop the um the shoe out and produce some blur in the background is incredible. I'm seriously impressed that that's what you can get straight out of the box with this particular iPhone. It's pretty incredible. Lastly is the low light test and its ability to capture in low light. Now the image that you see here is pretty good. All in all, most camera phones struggle to pick up a lot in low light or they create a little bit of grain. But if you really think properly about how you take your shots and what lighting is around to just at least highlight some points of your particular image you're trying to take then you will get quite a good image at night time there may be some slight color grading or tweaks in its contrast you may need to do exposures but straight out of the box you do get a very very good image and you can see in this image as well it's it's done a fantastic job of picking up everything it needed to to be able to make quite a cool looking detailed image overall the iphone 10 is a success when it comes to taking sneaker photography and for me I'm super happy with its effects. I hope I've really helped you with your ability to take some really cool sneaker shots in the future and to prove this particular phone's camera is great. I hope you really enjoyed Ty Kicks for this week. It's been fantastic to have you guys watch and see this particular review. This time next week, we're gonna have another review for you guys of an amazing new Adidas shoe that's come out for the winter. I will catch you for another one this time next week. I'm